All right, so you've made the decision to purchase your next fence from us, Mr. Fence. I'm Sean King, the founder of Mr. Fence. I wanna to explain to you what happens behind the scenes when you make the decision to buy a fence from us. First step is you're gonna sign your contract and turn that in. That contract's gonna have all the details for your project. We wanna make sure that it's accurate. It should have the description of the type of fence, the color of fence, the location of fence, the amount of fence, and of course, the dollar amount, the cost of that project. Once that's all accurate, the drawing is in the right spot, the address is right, and all the information is correct, you're gonna turn that in with your deposit of 50%. Once we have your deposit and your contract turned into the office, a lot of stuff starts happening behind the scenes. Let me show you what happens. In the front office, the first step they're gonna do is they're gonna create what we call a job jacket. This job jacket is gonna include everything about your project. We're gonna keep it neatly organized in this job jacket, filed away so we know right where your information is. We don't operate with just random paperwork laying around. Things are very organized and there's a process and a procedure for everything. We've spent nearly 25 years perfecting this process. Inside that job jacket is gonna be your contract, as well as any email correspondence are gonna be printed out and put in the contract, and any notes from the sales staff with their paperwork with details for your project. Once the job jacket is created, then it moves on to the next step, and a job folder is made. Job folders are all color-coded. This one is green, which means this is for an aluminum fence. So every type of fence has a different color-coded job jacket that helps us identify the type of fence that's being installed. Helps with the process. Inside this job folder, which goes to the foreman, they take it with them to your house. First thing you're gonna find is a project tracking sheet. So every project has a project tracking sheet. Of course, it has the information for our customer, but it has a to-do list step-by-step step to make sure we don't miss any steps. Things that are included in here are all the notes on the contract. Is the contract signed? Are the email addresses correct? Is the address correct? Does the address map on Google? We wanna verify the work order. We wanna verify the pool list and make sure the pool list is accurate with what is needed for the project. Sometimes computers can make, mis make mistakes. We use a computer fence software to generate the pool list with all the material needed to build your fence. But we need to double check that. This also includes all the man hours that we've estimated for your project, as well as we wanna know if there's pictures on company cam of your project. Is the job been flagged or not, painted and located? This is gonna tell us if that's been done. It also lets us know if we've updated the proper Excel sheets um, and if we've staged your material. So there's a whole story of what's happening with your project. A lot of this is happening in the background and you don't even know what's happening at home. But don't worry, we have it under control. This is a project sheet. This is what the team takes out with them. This has, again, all the notes from the contract. Again, the drawing. More details of what's on the contract. This tells them if, they, if there's power available, if there's sprinkler lines in the way, if there's water available if needed, parking, if it's an issue or not for some of our great big trucks whether or not they should bring um, a little beaver to dig holes with or do they need a skid steer, a wheelbarrow, what they're doing with the dirt, how high the fence needs to be off the ground, the reason for the fence. A lot of good information here is given to our foreman. The next thing is a pool list. We have two copies. One goes with the crew and one goes back to our shop so they can properly pool and stage the material prior to installation. We also have the dig ticket. The dig ticket is very important. This is our documentation that we have properly located the public utilities. Not the private, but the public utilities, the ones that we're liable for. Legally, we cannot dig in your yard without this piece of paper, and no contractor should be digging without this. We also print out, when possible, aerial photographs, including lot layout, property pins, um, and lot dimensions for our crews, just to make sure we're on your property line. Then this is an inventory sheet the crew fills out when they're completed with the project. It tells us exactly what they use to build your fence. Last but not least, the most important piece is this plaque of honor that goes on your fence. This is a chrome Mr. Fence sign. It's included in every job folder. This is installed by our team on your fence after the completion. It is your badge for your lifetime workmanship warranty. Come inside and see what's going on. Oh, check this out. The original Mr. Fence truck, pretty cool. All right, this is the job jacket I just talked to you about and the job folder. So it's in the rack here. What happens next? All the information's in here. It goes into the project supervisor's office. Let's see, take a look. So in the project supervisor's office, he takes his paperwork and he opens it up and goes through all of it. He verifies it's all correct and neat and there. 
and then he orders the material if we need it or pulls it out of inventory. Once that's done, we have a very elaborate Excel sheet that all of the projects go into. It's like a calendar. And on that sheet, everything's color coded by type of product it is, which crews put it in, um, the status of the project, all those things are on this calendar. They tell us live, up to date, everybody in the, everybody in the company can see this calendar and know what the status of your project is. Once everything's been verified, this folder goes into one of these racks. The first rack, this folder's sitting there waiting on material. Once the material's here and we have it, we move it to the next rack. So we can visually see projects that are waiting on material, projects that have been pulled and staged, and projects that are ready to be installed right now. We also have additional racks for projects that are on hold because of a customer waiting on a pool or a landscape, um, callbacks, repairs. Um, we call them pink sheet or blue sheets. Um, if there's something that's to be adjusted on a project we've already installed, it creates a blue sheet. We come back here and put it in this rack. If we have a small repair for some type of damage, maybe from the wind or a tree falling or a car ran through the fence, we create a pink sheet. And that's here for us to see visually how many pink sheets we have to get completed. Um, we try to keep those down as minimal as possible, but we also try to be as efficient as possible and accomplish those pink sheets and blue sheets, hopefully, while crews are nearby completing the project. Isn't that right, Colin? Sure.